Now, the paramount chief of Across West Sokoko traditional area in the Krachi East municipality of the OT region, Nana Odam Jemfida III, is urging the Volta River Authority to come to their aid and provide portable drinking water for the people in the area. According to the chief, the initial systems installed in all the resettlement communities have broken down. Nana Odam Jemfida III made the request during a fumigation and disinfection exercise organized by the VRA for all the resettlement communities in the OT region. Peter Seno has more. The fumigation and disinfection exercise started from the Asukoko Senior High School, where dormitories, classrooms, and toilet facilities in the school were disinfected. Pathos AIB, the company that did the disinfection and fumigation, also presented some of its products to the school for continuous best hygiene practices. Other busy schools in the area also benefited, as well as the chief's palace. The paramount chief of the Akroso Asukoko traditional area, Nana Odam Jemfi III, apart from expressing his appreciation, is also asking the Volta River Authority to consider improving access to potable drinking water in the area. He says the initial installations have all broken down in the various resettlement communities. In fact, our major problem is water system. No potable water at all. We are just by the river. But it's not potable. No, no, it's not good for drinking. Anytime you go to hospital, when you are tested, you say you are suffering from typhoid. It comes from the river. Then we pray that a VRA should come and assist us. When we came first, they gave us some, a certain machine, but it couldn't last. All the resettlement communities, the machines are not working now. But we have uh, uh, gone to see some NGO. They provided this water, but they have uh, gone without the uh, services and rend they rendered to us. So we are, we are praying or we are appealing to VRA to come to our aid. Pathos AIB again presented some disinfectants and sanitizers to the palace. Felix Dansu is the general manager. He's advising residents to continue to observe the various protocols in order not to be infected with the virus. We want to encourage the general public to be very conscious of this pandemic and also geared to using natural products, especially around children. And when the government is preparing to reopen schools, we, our doors are open for the teachers and headmasters to come on board to see how best we can provide our services to the various schools to provide a very conducive environment for the for students to, to learn and study to be the best people they aspire to be. I've, I've been able to speak with the leaders of this community to continue with awareness. I think gradually because the active cases are going down, the awareness and the euphoria is getting down, which is not. When you are winning, that is where you need to be more conscious conscious and make sure that you observe the necessary protocol. So at this time that we are having less active cases, we shouldn't relent on observing these protocols before there is any spike. Peter Sen for Joy News. And that's it for the bulletin. Stay with us. We've got plenty of stories to share when we look at the newspapers and we check out what's also making headlines on myjoyonline.com.